Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce you to canter pole exercises. I'm a big fan of canter pole exercises as it is a great way to introduce your horse to jumping and teach your horse how to canter in front of a jump. When jumping your horse, too much jumping is not good for your horse. We all know that and it does seriously impact its joints and shortens its jumping career. So jumping every day is not good for your horse. But for us as a rider, we cannot do enough jumping as we need to jump as much as we can to get our eyes attuned to the horse's stride and to be able to learn how to get a decent distance in front of a jump. In this exercise and today I'm going to demonstrate the best way to be able to canter a nice even rhythm to a jump. It is essential to teach your horse to jump in a consistent rhythm rather than speeding up or slowing down in front of each jump. And if you can't do it in front of a pole then how can you expect to do it in front of a jump? So here I'm going to give you a few tips on keeping a nice even rhythm and if you can keep an even rhythm when you're wrong it allows an adjustment to be much easier. Here I canter to the pole. As I turn to the pole I use more leg as my horse is more likely to shorten its stride while turning. When straight I continue to ride forward until I see that I'm on stride and then I settle with a slightly firmer contact. Remember to make any changes in leg and hand contact subtle. Less is more. Too much hand will cause an added stride and too much leg will cause you to leave a stride out. When you achieve an even rhythm on a medium stride, try the same on a shorter stride. Next, try a bigger stride. When lengthening, try to keep your horse balanced and still in a rhythm. I lost a bit of balance here which resulted in getting a little too close to the pole. Ride all poles as if you would do it like jumping fences. While I prefer to sit lightly in the saddle, but if you prefer to jump in two point position, do the pole exercises the same way. Once you can keep an even rhythm over a single fence, there are many more pole exercises you can do. Here I am doing two poles on a circle. Again, try to keep the stride as even as possible, but this time you have to keep your horse correctly bent while doing the circle. You can also do two poles in a related line and add or leave out strides. Here I'm riding a forward three strides. This brings us to the end of our session with poles on the ground. As you can see, it is important to be able to keep doing a nice smooth rhythm and with a smooth rhythm you finish with a much happier horse. So here I'm going to warm him down as normal with a bit of flat work and stretching work and then take him for a walk. Take him for a walk. Good boy Flash. Greetings. Strides Jump Exercises displays more pole exercises, including this page with tips for horses that charge. For more information, please visit strides.co.nz. To see more videos, please click the subscribe button below. Bye for now.